Here is an exam style question on implicit differentiation. Figure 4 shows the curve with the equation x squared plus y cubed minus 10x minus 12y minus 5 equal to 0. Part A show that dy of dx is equal to 10 minus 2x over 3y squared minus 12. Ladies and gents, please pause the video, have a go at part A, and then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. So this curve over here is defined as an implicit equation. X is not the subject, Y is not the subject, so we call it an implicit equation. Right, so my implicit equation in the question is X squared plus Y cubed minus 10X minus 12Y minus 5 equal to 0. We want to differentiate this implicit equation. Because it's an implicit equation, we have to use the technique of implicit differentiation. We differentiate the x terms as normal. Whenever we come across a y term, we differentiate it, but then we stick in dy over dx. The first step is to apply d over dx on both sides. So I've got d over dx of x squared plus y cubed minus 10x minus 12y minus 5 equal d over dx of 0. Now I'm going to use term by term differentiation. The first term over here differentiates to 2x. The second term differentiates to 3y squared. But because it's a y term, I need to stick in dy over dx. The third term differentiates to minus 10. The fourth term differentiates to minus 12. Again, because it's a y term, I need to stick in dy over dx. And the final term differentiates to 0, equal to the 0 differentiates to 0. Now I'm going to keep the dy with dx's on the left hand side and all the other stuff I'm going to take to the right hand side. So I've got 3y squared dy over dx minus 12 dy over dx equal to 10 minus 2x. Absolutely beautiful. Solid. Let's go. Right over here we've got dy with dx as a common factor so I can factorise this. I can take out dy with dx as a common factor. Inside the bracket, I've got 3y squared minus 12 equal to 10 minus 2x. Now I can make dy of dx the subject. Nice. So I've got dy of dx is equal to 10 minus 2x over 3y squared minus 12 as required. This completes part A of the exam style question. Let's have a look at part B. At each of the points P and Q, the tangent to the curve is parallel to the y axis. So if I draw a tangent to the curve at the point Q, it's a vertical tangent, which is parallel to the y-axis, and the same uh, applies for the tangent to the curve at the point P. It is parallel to the y-axis. Part B, find the exact coordinate of Q. Please pause the video, have a go at part B, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part B. Now, if you've got a horizontal tangent to a curve, the gradient is zero. As I rotate this pen, you can see that the steepness is increasing. When the tangent becomes vertical, the steepness tends to infinity. Okay, so at Q, dy over dx tends to infinity. The same applies for at the point P. Okay, so we have that, this one over here, this fraction, 10 minus 2x over 3y squared minus 12 tends to infinity. Now the fraction becomes infinite when the denominator is equal to 0. So we take the denominator, 3y squared minus 12, and we set it equal to 0. Now we can solve for y. So I've got 3y squared is equal to 12, y squared is equal to 4, so y is equal to 2 or minus 2. Now as you can see, at the point P and Q, the y coordinate has to be positive. Okay, so we have to reject the minus 2, but we accept the 2. So at Q, y is equal to 2. Okay, now I can substitute y equal 2 back into the original implicit equation to work out the x coordinate. Okay, so I've got x squared plus 2 cubed minus 10x minus 12 multiplied by 2 minus 5 equal to 0. This simplifies to x squared minus 10x minus 21 equal to 0. So I need to solve this quadratic equation. I can use the quadratic formula x equal minus b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac over 2a as my method. So the a coefficient of x squared is 1, 
B, the coefficient of x is minus 10, and C, the constant term is minus 21. So, applying the quadratic formula gives me x equal 5 plus square root 46, x equal 5 minus square root 46. Now, at the point Q, the x coordinate has to be positive, so we have to reject 5 minus square root 46, but we accept x equal 5 plus square root 46. Okay, so therefore, at Q, the coordinate is going to be 5 plus square root 46 and 2. That there, ladies and gents, completes this exam style question on implicit differentiation. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.